welcome to another equipment tutorial my name is rajni and in this video we will learn about how to operate this machine this is vectra cnc machine made by nucleon technologies with given specifications we are going to mill two layer pcb here you need gerber file of your layout design gerber file must be in the format of .gbr for engraving and milling and .drl for drill copper cam software now Open CopperCam software provided in the Makerspace computer and open your Gerber and drill file for making the G-code. You can edit your design a little bit. After importing all the layers of your design, align them. Click on Set Contours for calculation of tracks and pads. In 2 layer PCB, you need one extra G code file for centering holes. Save the layer wise G code by clicking on Mill option from the top.
mat 3 software. Take 2 layer copper clad PCB. It should be bigger than the size of your design. Make two holes exactly with the same dimension of two pins present on the machine's bed. Fix PCB with the good quality double side tape. If not fixed properly, bit will break down. Switch on the machine and open the Mac 3 software in the computer. Select starting position for the milling manually by click on arrow and paste up and down keys. Now, fix the engraving bit in the collet with the help of spanner. You must set X, Y and Z axis before start the milling process. Note, always set Z axis by click on the option Auto Tool 0 after connecting given probes whenever you change the bit. Switch on the spindle at maximum speed. Load the engraving G-code. Click on Regenerate Toolpath. And always remember, check layout in the display mode on screen before starting milling process. If everything seems ok, then click on Cycle Start. Once the task is completed, turn off the spindle. Follow the same steps for other layers. Change the bit, set Z axis and start the cycle.
remove copper plate PCB safely and invert it and fix it again with the double side tape and follow the same step fix the required bit in the collet and set x y and z axis X and Y position must be exactly the same as initially centering hole origin in the copper cam software and set Z axis by the auto tool zero option. Remember, you have to load cutting G-code at the end. Remove your PCB and it is ready for assemble the components now.